In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 2nd, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Baltimore Orioles vs. Texas Rangers The Baltimore Orioles continue their road trip as they make their way to the Longhorn State to take on the Texas Rangers. The Orioles come into this series after losing two of three games to Cincinnati over the weekend and battling Boston at the bottom of the American League East standings. Meanwhile, the Rangers are fresh off a weekend series in which they took two of three from the Angels and firmly placed themselves in third place in the American League West. On the mound on Tuesday night will be a pair of right-handers as the Orioles' Jordan Lyles battles the Rangers' Spencer Howard. The Orioles have been playing good baseball and have climbed their way to a spot where they can fight to grab a wild card spot. While their offense has not been good, they will be able to take advantage of a good matchup against Spencer Howard. Howard has a 5.93 URI, 1.58 WHIP, and a 26-12 Kelvin BB ratio in six games started and eight games played. Opposing batters are hitting .286 against Howard this season. Baltimore has a lot to play for, while Texas does not with having very little chance of getting a wild card spot. The Orioles have won seven out of their last 10 games against the Rangers, so the Baltimore Orioles money line is our full game side pick. Both starting pitchers have struggled this season. Spencer Howard has a 5.93 ERI, 1.58 WHIP, and a 26-12 Kelvin divided by BB ratio in six games started and eight games played. Opposing batters are hitting .286 against Howard this season. In 12 games started on the road, Jordan Lyles has a 6.12 ERI, 1.48 WHIP, 57-21 Kelvin BB ratio, and opposing batters are hitting .287 against Lyles. With both starting pitchers struggling, the offenses will shine. Adelis Garcia is top 10 in the American League in RBI. The Orioles are top 10 in the league in doubles. Both pitchers are coming off a strong start, but don't let that fool you. These are both pitchers who have both had issues all season. Howard sits with an ERI near 6 and Lyles sits with an ERI near 5. If the starters don't get us there, I think the bullpens will. I'll be expecting a bit of an offensive clinic here. The Orioles' bats are going to continue the success they had on Monday with their bats, and the Rangers will add a few for the over to cash. I get why you could look at the under here as this could be a low-scoring game, but I think this is a 5-4 to four kind of game at the very least, especially when you look at the pitching matchup in Jordan Lyles and Spechner Howard. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Kansas City Royals vs. Chicago White Sox The Kansas City Royals remain in Chicago to play the White Sox today. Kansas City lost 3 of 4 to the New York Yankees over the weekend while before that they lost 2 of 3 to the Los Angeles Angels. Currently, the Royals are tied for the third worst record in baseball and are clear sellers heading into Tuesday. Chicago, meanwhile, took 2 of 3 from Oakland while before that split a two-game series against the Rockies and are currently 2.5 games back of the wild card spot heading into Monday. Although the Royals team might be different when this game starts. I still like them to keep it close and possibly even win the game. Lucas Giolito has been terrible as of late and been awful at home which is a worry as the Royals have been able to hit him hard. Brady Singer, meanwhile, has been lights out this season against the White Sox and while it shouldn't be expected that he continues to have a zero ERI against them, he should be able to limit the runs. On Sunday, Kansas City showed they still are playing to win against the Yankees as they rallied for the win. The Royals have also split the eight games against the White Sox before Monday's game. Giolito hasn't offered any signs he'll regain his previous form, and with an anemic White Sox offense in support, this could be another upset for the Royals at big plus odds. So the Kansas City Royals to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. While the pitching in this game isn't great, it doesn't look like the offenses are capable enough to take advantage. Getting Perez back helps the Royals, but they also recently dealt their best hitter all season in Andrew Benintendi, and this team owns just a 94 WRC plus to rank in the bottom 10 at the plate this season. Chicago is only marginally better with a 99 WRC plus as this talented lineup has just not been able to click for whatever reason, 
and going without Robert is tough. Kansas City is just 49 to 49 to 4 in hitting the under this season, while the White Sox are 48 to 47 to 6. The under eight runs also presents a ton of value here, as so far in the eight games these two teams have played, they have gone over eight runs in just two games and are averaging just seven runs per game. Just like on Monday, the offenses won't be enough to overcome the shaky pitching and will fall short of the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Boston Red Sox vs. Houston Astros The Boston Red Sox and Houston Astros will continue a high-profile three-game series on Tuesday night at Minute Maid Park. Monday's series opener finished by a 3-2 final in favor of the Red Sox, who pulled off the upset as a plus 153 underdog. Boston gets back to point five hundred at 52-52 while Houston remains comfortably atop the American League West at 67-37. These teams met at Fenway Park back in mid-May, with the Red Sox taking two of three. The Red Sox are 5-17 in their last 22 versus a right-handed starter and 0-4 in their last four Tuesday games. Boston is 0-9 in their last nine in Game 2 of a series. Meanwhile, the Astros are 4-1 in their last five in Game 2 of a series and 36-15 in their last 51 Tuesday games. Houston is 59-25 in their last 85 games on grass. The Red Sox have lost four of their last six games and six of their last seven road games. They struggled offensively during the stretch, scoring only eight runs in their last three road games. Things won't get easier for them in this game because Javier has done a good job on the mound for Houston especially at home where he has given up eight runs in his last four starts. He gave up two runs in two games against Boston and will keep their offense in check. The Astros have won three of their last four games and six of their last eight home games. They have been on a roll offensively, scoring 18 runs in their last three starts. They will continue playing well in this game because they hit the ball well against right-handers and Crawford has struggled on the mound in recent starts giving up seven runs in his last three starts. He gave up three runs in his last road start and will have a hard time slowing down the Astros. Javier hasn't done too badly over his last three starts, but he's 0-2 in that time. Across 13.2 innings total, he's put up seven earned on 12 hits and eight walks. Javier does have four earned in his last 10 innings, though, if he can manage a quality start in this one, I think Houston will be in a promising position. So the Houston Astros' money line is our full game side pick. The Red Sox are averaging 4.54 runs per game and 4.48 runs per game on the road. They average five runs per game in their last three games against the Astros. With Houston giving up 3.25 runs per game at home, the Red Sox will be held under their average in this game. The Astros are averaging 4.48 runs per game and 4.52 runs per game at home. They average 5.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Red Sox. With Boston giving up 4.2 runs per game on the road, the Astros won't score enough runs to push the score over the total. The Astros and Red Sox played under the total in three of their last four meetings. Javier can't always go deep in the game, but luckily for the Astros they have baseball's best bullpen by ERI waiting in support. Boston has struggled at the plate over the last 30 days with an 86 W C plus. And while Diverse coming back is huge, the replacement for Vasquez won't be nearly as good. Crawford deserves credit for quietly putting up decent numbers as a rookie with a 94 Fahrenheit IP while striking out a quarter of opposing batters. Houston on dares have been a great bet all year, and both starting pitchers are good enough for another one to hit here. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.